Well, welcome back. Uh, I cleared her out. It was uh, a little more in depth than I had expected. I actually had to uh, to crawl under and drop my fuel tank. If you can see it under here, my fuel tank uh, is kind of kiltered because I the hoses are all dry and they don't want to release. And I just don't feel like cutting them apart because that's a whole nother problem I'd have to deal with. So, I've had a cardboard mock up for that center spine. So, we've decided that we're going to run some reinforcement along here. And this is go where it starts to really deviate from the Halo Warthog because. I don't like the rain, I don't like the snow, and I especially don't like either of that in my lap as I'm driving. So, I am going to build gold wing doors for this. And since I happen to have a nice sturdy bit of frame here, I'm going to run and cut here, cut here after I weld in an 8 inch spine. So, this is about the width, this is 8 inches wide. And it's going to sit dead center. So I'm going to weld in this spine before I do any cutting. Weld this seam down so it becomes the exact door. Run some uh, inset hinges. And the uh, those little uh, pneumatic assist tubes that you find on the back of a... Uh, on the old hatchback trunks. I'm going to take a couple of those so that this thing doesn't weigh a hundred pounds to open. So that's part of, that's the majority of the issue that'll be dealt with here. But weld in the spine, weld in frame, and then it'll be fiberglass and Lexan for the windows. So it'll basically have like two moon roofs or Basically like the old T-top. And then... Uh, well, here's my light. Okay. So another thing is... If you can see this... Uh, let's see. Where is it? About here you can see what look like scratches. It's a chalk line for a rough estimate of where I'm going to cut it. So it's going to have that boaty appearance. And then about... Uh... Okay, so about here-ish is where I'm going to put the uh, the hinge. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to change this door handle out to something else. Well, actually this whole door handle is disappearing. But I'm going to put like a quarter turn uh, pull ring, no, like a D ring that you turn quarter turn. And then you can open it from the outside, but it'll lay flush. And then on the inside will be like a single uh, single handle that you just pull. So, yeah, a little bit more light in here so you can see what I've got sitting in here. I yanked the back seat. I wanted to uh, to drop the uh, the height of this back side here, um, but you know, maybe about the uh, three to four inches will be the most I can drop it. Uh, yeah, looking at these tires on here, it's pretty crazy fun. Uh, I guess tomorrow is the, uh, the pull apart, so we'll go find, uh, my good old new engine. Thinking maybe an R22 will do it, but you never do know. Who knows, I might find, uh, an old G16. Uh, if you can see this, this is my, uh, my, uh, blank. This lets me know exactly what I'm looking for in the engine. Whether or not I have to build a, an adapter. So this just basically... Uh, my kingdom for an extra arm. <laughs> uh, give me a moment here. Fine. Sit you down there. Oh yeah. So what I've got is my transmission over there. You can see the edges at least. And 
and I stuck neat nails through so that if you see holes line up with holes and this is coming with me so Cody and I are gonna we're gonna have a fun time we'll probably wind up pulling at least two engines just to find the right bolt pattern but uh, so that's an update for now and uh, I should have an update either at the pull apart or uh, when I get back it really all depends so uh, have fun and I hope this inspires more people to do things like this because creativity is something that people just don't have as much of anymore and especially mechanical creativity yeah but I'm not gonna get on a soapbox about that so have fun <laughs>